Cancer, this is LA with your reading. I tried to put this as good as I could and don't shoot the messenger because this is for all cancers, not one person. I wanted to tell y'all thank you for joining me. Push that down if you want to hear more of me. I really appreciate this. And y'all just did not know. I appreciate you even listening. Okay, the first thing I want to say is, dear angels, please bless and protect this space. I ask that you ensure. Only pure and trustworthy answers for my cancers, people. From divine, come through these cards. I ask that the message I receive be clear, easy to understand. Please help me hear and feel and know the message that you have for us. I ask that this card bring blessings to everyone involved. And so it is. Okay, here we go. The first card that came up, cancers. Hey, y'all, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just giving out. Tell you what the cards and what the angels want you to know. Intuition. Intuition is in the language of a soul. When this card shows up, the reading is a clear message that it's time for you to use your intuition and just give it a chance. And you'll quickly notice how it might be trying to get your attention. It might be trying to get your attention. The angels, somebody to get your attention. But you got to use your intuition to use it. Okay, the next card was the uh, page of swans, swords, excuse me, cancer. And it was uh, symbolizes a person adapts at a piercing, the unknown village, an act of youth, a little figure alert and awake to unknown dangers. Um, this could be a young lady that's trying to fight a battle all by herself and she's young and she's trying to make herself a little alert so she can fight the unknown that's in front of her. But remember, the man upstairs is gonna be watching you do everything you do and you have to believe that he watches you which you're upstairs to guide you to. Because when you go through this life by yourself, it gets real complicated because you start thinking of things that you shouldn't do. Okay, the opportunities, the angel said, use your opportunities wisely. Don't just use them for pettiness. Use them wisely. Okay. Authority. The second week has got to do with authority. This card represents a quality of leadership, logic, strength, wisdom, and power. When this card emerges, it acts as a teaching tool and in do so doing it's encouraging you to develop or re resonate, rejuvenate these qualities and tap into your aspects of yourself other traits also include are good reasoning and problem solving skills and also being also being grounded in whatever you do cancer and learning to develop strong mental control over free emotions oftentimes this car appears to symbolize a father figure or an individual of a wise authority who may be present in your life. It could be someone in high influence in business or a practical person, friend who uses logic and reason to create positive outcome. Ask yourself whether it's time to take on or eliminate similar qualities. In other words, are you taking going to take after the person that um, that's trying to show you their qualities uh, sometimes it takes a person and young people to see what one person, they, they take after the people they want to take after. And young people, be surprised who they look after. It's so crazy. Young people change like the light switch. You know, they just do, you know, and um, and you're going to have to uh, understand that the, the when the light switch is on, then you need to watch. Life puts off. That slow kill, as they say. <laughs> but anyway, didn't mean to bore y'all up to death. Okay, next we're going to this one, this card, which was the King of Wands, was upside down. It says, somewhat excessive 
ideas dominate the deliberate into intelligence tolerance. Especially somewhat excessive and uh, uh, graded ideas. Some of your ideas are some are graded and dominant and deliberate and ignorant. Don't do. Just don't do. Don't do that. Don't don't show you. Cats, don't put yourself in that for August. Assertiveness. Be assertive that angels say whatever you do. And then it's up here. You got mental conflicts going on. This is a mobility to move forward as a self-doubt emerges from indecisiveness or not being able to take action with a person, group, or even a situation in your present life. It may not be easy decision, but you already made. Just remember that you have the strength and courage and the power to do it. Don't let your mental conflict stop you from doing what that you want to do with yourself, Cancer. Remember that. Don't let your mind tell you what to do. And the key word is I want. And the color of orange is significant. And ovaries, watch out, and texticles for a man. Um, that's just what the card means. Uh, but it's like I want. The next card came up was the, the hangman. A willingness to make necessary efforts. Come on, Cancer. Preoccupation with ego. False prophecy, useless sacrifice in Neptune. In other words, you're using your sacrifices for wasteness. That's what you're saying. Don't waste what you're doing and your sacrifices. Um, we want to make we go out with a bang that we've done everything in our power that you are supposed to do in this lifetime. And sometimes we don't. I guess we just feel like that we just here and we ain't got nothing else. No reasons to be here, but you are here for a reason. That reason you have to figure it out because that's what we do. We have to figure out um, what we're here for because sometimes we don't. We don't be listening to what we should be listening to. What we're here for, you know what I'm saying? And we should be listening to it. Okay. And. The angel says you need to learn forgiveness with people. Learn to forgive more than you receive on far as forgiveness. Because some people do not know how to for to forgive you. And you forgive them, but they don't forgive you. But you know God forgives you. The man upstairs, he hurts you. Then the next to the last fourth week is this card implies that the period of rest and meditation and rejuvenation and recuperation is in order. It usually comes for when you're encountering or coming out of a particular emotional or meta, meta, mentally taxing experience. The number four means foundation. So this time is to heal, to be with your soul, and to kindle moving steady forward. In other words, meditation to do some good and go into your soul to, to analyze things instead of in your head. Um, we have the three of coins came up. They're great skills and trade and work, mystery, perfection, artistry abilities okay we have three of coins i don't know if i got that it says great skills and trade you go you got good skills and trade and stuff that you could do on the side and it says it's up to you that's what the angel's saying all this that we're doing and everything we're saying it's all up to you cancer you have to take it in you got to trust the angels that they are helping you and the god upstairs that we serve is with you you have to believe what you're doing and you look into your soul and find out what you need to do your intuition your authority your mental complex rest and juvenate that means you need to rest you need to Go and think carefully in August what you're doing each week. And use your intuition. Authority figures could be somebody you look up to. You may be trying to change your life, get your groove back. I don't know. But I'm going to tell you something. You need to take a path in your life. So when you look at the end that you, this young person can look after you or an older person can rely on you. It's different things. But that, that's all I have to say. And I want to tell you all thank you for listening, Gassner. And here's your reading for August 1st to the 31st. Hope you like it. Push that down. If you do, I want to see you some again. Bye-bye.